Today, boys, we saw one of the most spectacular games of Age of Empires, one of the most emotional games of Empire, Age of Empires, when Hera went down to MBL, a reverse sweep from the Norwegian. It, I tell you what, captured the hearts and minds of the entire community. MBL came out of that into the interview, hands shaking, still overwrought with emotion. I was chatting with him backstage and we, uh, we managed to get some, uh, some cameras and microphones to record some of his thoughts and feelings once he'd kind of calmed down a little bit, once he'd collected some of his thoughts. We want to share that with you now. Obviously, we're going to be going into a game with MBL. He'll have had overnight to rest, restore and re recuperate. But here are some of his thoughts about 15, 20 minutes after yesterday's epic match. A little bit of time has passed since your monumental win. You've had the chance to, to calm down. Talk us through how you're feeling, mate. It, it, it just must be unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Uh, never expected this. I came today with a feeling of losing, mm -hmm. which is not obviously ideal. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to have expectations of me winning when I uh, face up uh, like some player like Hera. Uh, it's like going to an exam and uh, expecting an A and then you get a D, you know? Right, right. And so it's, it's basically like I want to expect myself to lose and if anything else, it surprises me. Well, I want to talk to you about this headspace that you've got yourself into. You are the underdog. You expect that Hera is going to be really tough opposition. How do you come back from 0-2 down against someone like Hera? We don't understand how you can... Like, what inner reserve of strength did you find to get yourself back into it? Uh, I have no idea. I think the momentum switch may be a little bit in my favor when I got up uh, one game at least. Mm -hmm. Not got up, but I got one game from mm -hmm. him. And when the second one... Uh, came in I felt like okay maybe he's like feeling the pressure now mm -hmm. he uh, he is expected to win and he has all the pressure on him and I felt like he played very shaky in the end and yeah I don't know I pulled it through somehow it's just incredible because you are you, you we know you as one of these players who thrives on chaos on, <laughs> on mess yeah. everywhere on not having a, a strictly formed battle plan how yeah. much of an idea do you go into games like do you have a very strict idea of what you're gonna do before a game or do you, is it all just the big make-em-ups the entire time I kind of always disagreed with the messy kind of thing i always try to play like the others sort of mm -hmm. but yeah of course uh, my games can get messy because i sometimes go too greedy booming or i go some weird pressure that's yeah. not really supposed to work but when i i get my game plan in and play kind of i, I get that meta playing good mm. i can actually like start playing pretty well as well but a lot of times i fail with the meta it's pretty difficult i mean it's one of the hardest games on the earth of course and, For and sure. you're just so good at it but we, i want to talk now about tomorrow right the, the semi-finals, are you going to have the same attitude going in? Are you going to expect <laughs> that you're going to fall at this hurdle as well? Maybe it's time to, to take a different approach. Maybe it's time, but, uh, you know, I guess Liri, I always had that. Uh, thing. I, ca I, can't, <laughs> I can't come in and say I will win this because then I'll always get disappointed. And, but I'll try my best. That's always what I say. I'll yeah. do my best but I'm not expecting to win. Well, your best was more than enough today. MBL, congratulations. I know that it's been a huge, huge moment for you. I know you're gonna appreciate a little bit of time to rest, recuperate and be back better than ever, hopefully tomorrow. Thank you, Riley. I have to say, I left that interview with somewhat mixed feelings. You know, I, I like MBL, I'm a fan of his. I love watching his work when he's playing, but hearing him have just that level, I mean, I want him to be confident. I want him to go and say, no, I can win this, but I, I don't know, where do you land on this, Tristan? I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you admire his, his realism, or, or is this just unnecessary pessimism from NBL? I think his, his confidence level matters a lot less in, for him than it does others, right. because he thought he was going to get straight up spanked by Hera 3-0. Yeah. He was down 2-0, did not play well, and then somehow came back to win 3-2. So like his fight, his level of fight is so high right. that if people see him as lacking confidence or perhaps being too realistic, I think it evens out. Right. Um, I think if you were to have had an individual interview after every game yesterday, after it was 2-0, he would have said, yeah, I'm going to lose. Mm -hmm. After it was 2-1, he would have said, yep, I'm going to lose. Mm, yeah. After 2-2, he's like, yeah, I'm going to lose this too. But he Probably did as, it. as he did it. is typing in GG, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd ask him, he's like, yeah, no, I, I've got No, he chance. did it. Yeah, yeah, and you actually, I don't know if we, if we have any good lip readers in the crowd, yeah. but, uh, but like when they showed his reaction, he said something. <laughs> I think he was just like, oh, like what just yeah, happened? Yeah, you know, yeah. he said a few words as if to be like, how did that, am I in a dream right now? So I think with MBL, the other thing is, uh, this is a lot of players in our scene. Uh, a lot of players seem to recognize kind of that tier of how good players are. Mm -hmm. Leary's just a beast, and you can see MBL right here. 
Well, I mean, let's talk about this bloke. He, sure. You know, he is one of the he's one of the biggest personalities, Dave, in Age of Empires. Uh, he is one of the most, I guess, is it not? It's not I'm not going to say polarizing, but he's, he's a player who certainly doesn't mind putting himself out there and having a bit of a reputation. I think that's great. I think it's good when a scene has something of a heel like that. But you know, he's definitely someone who can really bring the heat, even if it comes from areas that we don't necessarily expect. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Yeah. And welcome to the world of being an MBL fan, by the way. <laughs> you want him to have more confidence. Same with everyone else yeah. who's ever cheered. <laughs> you know, he'll, he, he gains confidence, I think, mid-game. Right. And he's, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll kill him, I'll kill him. You yeah. know, this, this guy's dead. But going into the game, no. The, the confidence is not there, and that's been a constant concern for people watching him. Mm -hmm. But seeing him come out, hearing the players cheer for him after his win yesterday, seeing everyone hugging him when we yeah. went when we back, went back into the green room, it was it was a magical moment, and we were still talking about it till like two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, absolutely incredible classic yeah. moment with NBL's win yesterday, and uh, of course I'm sure his focus right now is against his opponent. The opponent is going to face here, arguably the best player of Age of Empires, uh, Empire Wars mode that there is. And here he is, it's Leary, this young gun from Austria, already two titles to his name. This bloke is the real deal and he's come to find a third. Tristan, undeniably, Leary is the favourite, there is no doubt about that. MBL has a massive, a, a, a Sisyphean task here, right, to, uh, to try to get uh, across the line. And uh, for Leary, on the other hand, he's, it's just business as usual, he's just got to play his, his, his natural game. Leary knows MBL so well. He knows NBL so well. They, they played together in team games. Mm -hmm. They know each other's personalities. They know what makes each other tilt. Uh, they, they just, they understand each other. And mm -hmm. the guy's undefeated. I mean, he has lost a game or two throughout some of these sets, but mm -hmm. he's undefeated. He's also the greatest Empire Wars player of all time. So I think like, this, this is business as usual. I, I don't think there's a lot of fear for Leary no. going into this series that NBL is going to be able to do what, what NBL did against Hera. However, in the middle of a series, if it's 2-1, 2-2, that will make Leary start thinking. And I think that's where MBL can gain an advantage, uh, surprising someone like mm -hmm. Leary and, and uh, shocking him in terms of what he's bringing to the table. We talked about this a lot, Dave, yesterday, the idea that one player had to play, had to force the other to play on, on his terms, right? If you're the weaker, uh, the weaker player in the matchup, you have to seize control. You have to seize the initiative. You have to make the game play out as you want it to. Leary, on the other hand, doesn't necessarily have to do that. He just plays his best game. What does Leary do to make sure that he doesn't fall for any of the pitfalls and traps that NBL, NBL may be setting? Leary puts you under constant pressure. And you're constantly worrying about your own economy. Mm -hmm. You're not worrying about doing damage to him. And like Mr. Yo said in that video piece, he's like, he's always up earlier. His builds are that clean behind mm -hmm. it. What I think NBL needs to do going into this is early pressure. Don't overreact to the aggression coming into your base from Leary. Go forward with scouts like we saw against Hera, maybe get a few villager picks and force Leary to stay at home. MBL needs to have his foot on the gas mm -hmm. right away or in classic MBL style, he'll just triple wall and <laughs> pick something like Enclosed or Wade. We're, we'll wait to see. That's what's so fun about, about watching these two guys. And it's coming up very shortly. Let's get the casters in, get their thoughts as we prepare for our second semi-final. We've got Leary and MBL. Mem and Nilly will be bringing you the call. Mem, talk us through your thoughts as we head into this semi-final. What are you looking forward to here? I don't know why you are talking to, so much about MBL. According to the Viper, he's playing against, uh, Lee, against Kira. <laughs> Lee versus Kira. He's safe in the interview. So he's the, he don't want to play against NBL in the Grand Final. That's what they get from, from the Viper. Oh, NBL is certainly a tricky dude and yeah. Leary, as you all mentioned, is the favorite though. And I think it has to be a banger, right? We, we saw what NBL is capable of. We saw throughout the whole group stage and the bracket stage that what Leary is capable of. But, Crazy but have you noticed how he doesn't like when people say that he has a messy game play? He thinks that like, Oh, sometimes just what I'm executing is not working and then it looks like this, but I try to play the meta. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the meta, well, is difficult to execute. But obviously I think we're gonna see some crazy, crazy cities right now. Yeah, absolutely we will. Maybe we'll stop using the word messy. Maybe we can start saying experimental. <laughs> experimental. <laughs> we'll find some other ways. Thanks very much, boys. We'll let you get ready for the next set. In the meantime, closing thoughts, Dave, we've got a big match coming up. Leary, the clear favourite, are we going to see a clear 3-0, 3-2, 3-1? How's it going to pay out, plan, pan out here? I think MBL with the confidence boost from yesterday, mm -hmm. he may say he doesn't have a confidence boost, but that certainly is going to affect anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, If you do that, I think he's going to at least take one game. 
and then the rest is up for grabs. Leary is far and away the best Empire Wars player I have ever seen. He's won this format twice. Mm -hmm. I kept watching his games and, and saying to other people, like, he's a robot. He's literally a robot. So, well, maybe his robotic programming will be enough. We'll see. What do you think, T90? Closing thoughts as we head to the game. Leary's the favorite. I think, similar to Dave, I think 3-1 here for Leary mm -hmm. as he'll move on towards the finals. Um, if MBL's going to win, I... <laughs> Similar to what Dave said, I genuinely believe he just has to let Leary kill his builds so he can kill Leary's builds. That's, that's like, what like, I'm just saying, avoid yeah. him. Just avoid it. Do not yeah. react. Just say, okay, that's All great. You're coming to my base. Just, I'm out of here. I'm cutting my losses. I'm out. <laughs> and, and See you would, later. It would be a very fun series, by the way, so I hope that yeah. happens. All right. Well, we are certainly going to get our money's worth from these two. Leary, the greatest Empire Wars player we've yet to see here. A double champion here at Red Bull Wallalow, but MBL who is the master of chaos. Let's see if he can pull something out of thin air as he did again uh, against Hera yesterday. It's going to be a showstopper, my friends. We can't wait to bring it to you. $100,000 on the line as a reminder. Live here from Heidelberg Castle, our second semi-final is going to get underway. Standing by the casters for this one here, it's Mem and Nilly. It's going to be amazing. The Viper is waiting already. Imagine the Viper versus Leo or the Viper versus NBL. Any of those potential grand finals might be absolutely sick, Nilly. I think most of us want to see the Viper versus Leary match though. That was a crazy 2-1 there, Leary barely taking it and MBL, well, he obviously wants to make it another final. Had a great run in King of the Desert last time where he made it into the finals. That was against Leary though and he's still hungry to go further. Typically we said Empire was not really his format but oh boy were we wrong. Wow. Look at this. The, the kid, like I like to call him, 19 years old, super young, but a lot of experience, a lot of tournaments already. He seems confident, and MBL has to, has to, oh, Red Bull stats. Don't forget, guys, that you can find the Red Bull stats in the Red Bull page. Where, Nilly? Where it is? Over here. You Over can here. Click, click and it. use the QR code, but that's enough of it. That's enough of it. <laughs> uh, okay, we didn't time that one too well with the production. Black. Whoopsie. Black. But hopefully you looked at that enough. Red Bull stats over on your browser as well. And let's take a look at the draft. MBL versus Levy. Best of five again to decide who goes into the finals. The Vipers waiting. Do you think MBL is going to surprise us with uh, some uh, tricky pick? Not more race, please, but uh, maybe maybe something that it, it potentially be strong, but uh, he has to do something. Uh, and uh, for example, Leo might pick up the cam up for sure. I believe that wait and close is a possibility, a real possibibility for, for MBL against Leo. Mm -hmm. Wait and close, I think, could be good maps for MBL. And when you say crazy picks, I just looked up the last time they faced before this tournament was actually Red Bull Volulo 4, also in the bracket stage, it went 3-1 for Leary. In game number four, we saw Kells by MBL, so indeed going for some wild picks there. Surprisingly lost that one. Now we see the home maps of the players. Obviously, we will start off with Runestones and Atacama, <laughs> map prediction. What a surprise. He loved that map. He picked as, as far as he can and he's not banned. He always picked that one. And then MBL is going to pick, wait. No surprise, mm -hmm. it's fit the style from both players. Ban Haboob after that one and aftermath the ban. I like the choice of those two players. Haboob, very crazy. Leary, the, well, simply with all the aggression, really good in aftermath. This scrappy map, and especially if you feel like you are the better player, maybe banning aftermath could be a reasonable choice. We see acclivity now by Leary, where he looked so incredibly strong against Jordan who had an incredible performance. Like Dave was telling, it's, it's like a robot. He executes his strategies, mm -hmm. tried to think on his own uh, gameplay, and well, accurate, wait and enclose. No surprise, Nelly. Wow, yeah, you predicted everything pretty much instantly there, and now they get their minute to write down the maps, think about their civilizations. MBL often said, yeah, don't go into it with too much preparation, I will just see, and apparently he comes up with some good strategies on the fly. I think Leary just asked MBL, well, what was the map? And MBL <laughs> answered, and yeah, not giving too much away, right? Maybe the base cap is helping, adding I some emotions while writing down I, I feel that Leo will go for the standard Vikings, and I wouldn't be surprised that uh, that uh, something different for MBL. Maybe not in the first pick. Uh, I feel that Franks or Persians, even Persians that have not even uh, pick, it can be a choice for for MBL. You will see. Ah, 
Persians is a bit too too wild. So I, no I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's just I, I think he also doesn't like persons too much on random map. That's why I would be surprised if he goes for them. But he like on runestones. stones. Okay. He like on, on, on runestones. stones. We, we will see. I, I will, it will be very fun, obviously, if he's picking some of these traces. Machiar. Machiar is for, for Liri, the first pick, not Vikings. Yep. Well, so once you go for okay. Atacama, Vikings instantly on the side for FBL. I have the feeling that he picked Machiar just to be able to, I don't know, to ban Vikings and Aztecs now for NBL, completely standard. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen those civilizations over and over again. Magia is not in the draft before because we didn't have Atacama, we didn't have Land Madness, and that's why they were not included. Tatars now for Liri, quite interesting. No Mayans picked yet. Could be a civilization that both players could be jumping on. Okay, let's see if it's going to be the next pick for. Mayans? Look at the MBL is staring That's down. It's Kumans, right? No? Britons. Britons, okay. Then MBL now, Kumans time. I oh. think that is not the worst thing ever, yeah. Kumans for. Imagine Vikings, Aztec, and Kumans. I, th I think I you mean, might just go Mayans. Honestly. Kumans and Mayans? Kumans, Mayans, I wouldn't mind that. Ethiopians could be a thing. Mayans, Mayans there you indeed. go. Wow. Whoa, the civilization for MBL is scary. It's really scary, nearly. And we are indeed. Berbers. Look at well, us. Oh, after, yesterday, after yesterday game, Berbers has to be there. You know, mm -hmm. good, good memories. Obviously, different maps because the aftermath is not going to be there. Mm, I like it. I like it. I believe that Lyrian also go for Kumans. Then, they had, why they are not picking? They has been so strong during the tournament. Oh well, I don't know if super strong, but high high picks. And let's see where it's going. The next Maybe one. Maybe there were more oh. used to being Ethiopians for Lyrian again. Obviously loves them. Is he going for another archer civilization or is he trying to mix it up? Obviously something like Hans for CA, but he's more of a crossbow player. Maybe some the backup the there in one. case Magyars is getting banned. I wouldn't be surprised to see Hans. I don't really see an enclosure for Liri yet though. Unless he wants to play Britons there and goes for Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Still no Kumans, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised with that one. Let's see now what uh, MBL is going to pick. Kumans and Franks. Let's see. Hans, well, Han. Hans. Okay, there you go. Okay. I love MBL draft. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't mind it either. <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. Vikings, Aztecs, Mayans, and then Berbers, Kumans, Hans. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah sounds crazy good, right? <laughs> crazy you kind strong. of have to ask yourself, like, what, what did the opponent pick? But then we look. And Liri's draft, and he is going for Saracens Sicilians. and Sicilians. Or it is maybe only Sicilians. Saracens next to it. Oh no, did he say Saracens? Ah, okay. but it's a mispick. So Saracens, the pick here for Mr. Liri. Saracens, not Sicilians. Let's see the last pick. What is going to be the last pick? Could well, see it's... something like Chinese, Franks, are still Franks or Khmer well. didn't pick either. If they want some cavalry, maybe in uh, Atacama. Is Larry in that case much that... of a no. player? I think Franks, indeed. He it's Franks. Franks. Franks, is, Franks is good here. And now, last choice for MBL. Okay, a, 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 a crazy choice. Come on, let's, let's go for Persians. Khmer. Khmer, makes sense, makes sense. Of course, well, not a single, uh, let's say, weird choice by, by MBL. Mm -hmm. Every, I mean, civilizations. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's just amazing draft for, for MBL. Ooh. I don't say that Leary is a bad one, but we have Vikings, two Mesosifs, ten Kumans, the new Kumans, Berbers, that we have seen how strong they are, especially Kemal with the farms, and Hans. Very, very strong choice indeed. Leary now deciding on his snipe as well, and we are seeing what looks to be Aztecs being sniped. Interesting. So MBL will get his Vikings, will get to play Mayans. Looking pretty nice, and the trap is shooting up the flag here. Red Bull Volilo 5, $100,000 on the line. Semi-final number two here. Players will go back to their PCs and now think about, okay, what civilization do I want to play? On what map do I want to counter? Do I want to play any mind games? 100,000, guys, and look at that trap widget. Red Bull Volilo in throne. That trap widget is going to shoot or not? I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I vote for Vikings Ethiopians in the first game. Uh, not unlikely, not unlikely. We also saw Bulgarians being used by Lyrion Arabia before and did 
do a lot of damage. Ethiopians could be a good argument to play them on Clivity, but I can see Tatars being played there. It heavily depends, I think, on what he wants to play on enclosed, and then it's easier to adjust to what he wants on root stones. Don't you think that the NBL got uh, a little bit stronger uh, draft, or, or not? I mean, my backyard is still very strong. We have seen Bulgaria and Sarnasin so tricky. But it seems that more powerful civilizations for more snowball civilizations. He gets possible with the Mayans, Kumans with the double archery range instantly or even double stable, Vikings with the crazy economy, mm -hmm. Hans in some and some map can be with the crazy amount of cavalry as we saw with the Viper yeah. in the previous series. Mm. Whoa. It makes the, the series, if the series were interesting, <laughs> well, even more now. Yeah, yeah, so, certainly. They are going for quite some strong choices and as we can see Britain's sniped there at the left hand side, Adsec sniped there at the other side and those are the home maps and the civilizations for Leary. Oh man, I would love to pick his brain and luckily someone did that for us. Let's hear it from Leary going into the bracket stage. I'm Liri, I'm 19 years old and I'm here in Germany playing from a castle and uh, I'm loving it. I've been at some lands before already but obviously playing in the castle is like a one-time life experience. It doesn't happen every day and uh, so far amazing. I've never seen such a car before. You always usually see it in the old TVs that they just drive like super crazy in such cars. Production has been awesome so far. Obviously, there's always some, some issues you, you cannot control. Some things are just out of your control. So, And they're super amazing. They're, like, we players are living the dream. So it's like super cool and uh, amazing. Well, every time I see these stats, uh, Nelly, uh, I get this scared. Yeah, I mean, right, <laughs> rightfully so. Look I'm at right that right Britain's 91, Ethiopians 86. He's just so crazy good with his range units. Lithuanians were the old Lithuanians, but we still had 150 extra food at the start. And as we know, probably the best micro in the world, macro and strategy, absolutely world class experience. How can you have more experience than him? One semi final, three finals going to best of seven, and now looking into a semi final. It's crazy, guys. In a five tournaments, I mean, one semi final. <laughs> yeah. Three finals. His weakest performance is top four. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just crazy. It's just uh, really, really crazy. And here we are with Liu again. Have you drive that Cobra car too? Oh no, I, I, I'm not allowed to. That's Red, Red Bull champions, right? <laughs> Doubt and Liu were the only one. Ah. Disaster, man. Disaster. We should, we should win a championship, right? <laughs> I'm starting to train right now for Red Bull 6. <laughs> okay, guys, this is about to start. We're going to have rune stones. And um, I want to see the chat because I'm very curious to see not who you think who is going to win, who you want to win, Leary or NBL? Because I think after the yesterday battle between NBL and, and Hira, if he got NBL a lot of fans, it increased even more. Yeah, yeah, probably. He, he gained so many fans there after this great set uh, with his emotions, how, oh. how they wanted and holy moly, oh. people are incredibly in favor of MBL over here Whoa. at the Twitch at 20,000 people spamming. Also, some people uh, said they want to see Memp win. No, MBL. Ah, uh, MBL. <laughs> they don't want to miss it win, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a troll, but he's focused. He's focused. I'm sure that he's going to try his best and honestly, your mentality when you think that you're going to lose, that might help you, like a little bit less pressure, but then you see the interview, how he's shaking, and you don't know uh, what point it really helps. Well, from, from what I learned about mentality, thinking that you're going to lose doesn't have to hurt you, but unlikely that it's really benefiting you. Obviously, MBL did make it happen, and I want to see if he can make more happen. Best of five for his spot in the finals. The Viper is waiting for them here. MBL, can he do it again against arguably the best player in the world, Leary? Well, I, when you can see, guys, you can see that the light is going down. You know that we have to whisper a little, you know, because they are getting so focused and then we get overexcited. And this excitement, maybe, maybe it's gonna disturb them. No, because they are far, far away from us. And I listen already, look at this beautiful logo, this Red Bull Wololo 5, 100K, $100,000 in Heidelberg Castle. And the first game is gonna be Runestone. Mm -hmm. All Arabia, let's say, with Hans for NPL versus Ethiopians, not the Vikings, nearly. 
indeed no Vikings there and we see oh MBL going for hunts. That's that's interesting. Where are we going to see the other civilizations there? Scout gets some good intel. Obviously, archer range opening against the stable opening. Leary, let's see how aggressively he's going to take this one. Gold quite open there for him. Very open. Four bullies on goal. He's still with the spear coming. He might use two bullies. Let's go to that goal to see if he's taking a bill here or not. No, he's going away. Thank you, Mr. Mapu. And ooh. That's not a good one. Well, half HP. Now it's going to be even harder to take a, a Belie. And we will see if Belie is going to go as aggressive as usual. Uh, Nearly and send Archers right away to try to pick up some police in the wood. He's going right away. Even if he's only one. One Spearman, one Archer. <laughs> if you send him. Just crazy. And I always thought like, oh, Winchester, two Archers, two Spearmen is already scary. But Leary? Yeah. One Archer. He's <laughs> sending already. Sending one Archer to the woodland. He would try to be annoying. The scout is also being annoying. Not going to be... A big problem, or shouldn't be a problem. No, no, he's fine. Now the spear, but let's go to the woodland. And he's already with the scout. He's gonna take a village. One village already down. Unbelievable. He's starting aggressive as always. Billy is down. There you go. Got it. And four. Ooh, but one, one. MPL. And now probably gonna take second. Gonna probably take second. We need to keep in the woodland. And oh, oh. my God. I mean, he's oh, running the scout back it. He over the, the wall. Here. And now he won the scout. <laughs> okay, he won the scout and took the bill here. Starting the game like we won with action and with masterpiece there. Whoa. Okay, scout, archer, spear, two villiers down. And now another villiers down. MBL going full aggressive, taking three villiers for the keep. Three villiers already. And now it's time for the counter. Well, still two archers around here. That one villager's low HP might focus her down. Indeed, that's what's happening. Now this scout wants to jump on the skirmish and not really going to happen. Spearman around to protect. Okay, let's see. He's going back. That spear is really needed to kill, but he's migrating against that spear as well. And now he's going away. Three villages down for Leary, two for MBL. All aggressive. This is what we want to see. And also he forced he forced Leary to 25 second either TC. So MBL with the two villages lead. Just look at how differently they're approaching runestones compared to the GL boys, right? Jordan tried to go for massive walls, the Viper controlling some area. This is all small, they're going for full aggression. And now with the stable here for Leary as well. Archer scouts sound pretty scary good. Zero, zero walls. I mean, if we check right now, zero walls. Obviously, the mobility with the hands is always lovely. Ooh, I thought, he, no, it, there was a spear. I didn't notice. A stable and archery range. Ooh, stable with the Ethiopians doing the Will Barrow. Already Leary and economy. This is what I can't believe. Okay. He, he had a really nice economy and going full scout, forging. He's going all aggressive. Atacama style. Yeah, they are really going wild. Skirmish a bit out of position here. Archer's trying to follow this one up. Wheelbarrow here for Leary because he was housed. Not really the ideal timing there. Want to do it a bit later, but we'll be Ooh. fine. Some villagers will tower. be walling this one up. And the defensive tower, man. Okay, defensive tower. Those scouts before it might be, might be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's going to the goal. He's going to go, but he's walling. Nice reaction. There's a, it's still another archer in the woodland. He's going to be able to commit. Don't think so. There's a skirmishes. The tower is there. So he shouldn't have a problem. Now he's going back and does it, but this is many scouts, Nelly. Oh, many oh, scouts that's... against all the skirmishes. The tower is going to help, but the archers are already in the woodland. Scout production stop for now. 500 food in the bank here for Leary, so he's going for quite some aggression. Won't really overcommit in few late. Disengages a bit here. Maybe wants to get his archers back home and try to upgrade them to crossbows. Looks like it. Oh no, he's trying to re engage. MBL now goes into stone. Mining stone, going for more towers, but you know what, what happened with this? Your macro is going to be worse. And if you check the economy, Leary going with 14 army, 13 army, MBL, 5 army. Yes, triple is behind because he got Will Barber and resources about to go up to Castle Age. Oh, how is he doing that? <laughs> Three foot know. houses? What, what's going on there? Not really sure. Might have been a um, waypoint. But Leary, without any wards, simply because he goes for so much army, full control always can react to all the aggression of his opponent. It's incredible. It's already on the way to Castle Age with double the army, with, uh, with a great timing going up. Uh, I mean, he's going to make a siege or so forward, and that, for that he has the ability already there. Uh, I because don't think so. I think that was more of a misclick. Click. Yeah. Okay. And some missed waypoint in another tower there. I'm a bit surprised by that one. MBL feels his map is so open, can't really defend all his wood lines in another way. The question is, what is he going for? Is it knights? Is it skirms? I can see archers in the queue. 
Yeah, well, he's, he's going for, for everything. The problem is the timing. The timing, the momentum is going to be from, uh, for Leary, sorry. And, uh, well, he's coming back. He's going to find those, those arses, as you can see. He's going to take the scout. Probably not. Uh, he got it. Okay. And with his archers and his skirmishes, he's going to be completely fine, nearly. Yeah, I think so as well. Skirmishes are focusing down the archers. Archers behind that one. Scout can't really engage. Spearman loses his life, but not a big problem. Better timing there for Leary. I think he ooh, even wants to engage this one. Apparently, archer count not high enough for his liking. Yeah, but he has the scout there. And now the spear is going to take the scout as well. A lot of army, a lot more army. Villain scout, though, for MBL. He has to hold a little bit. And obviously, it's great to have the hands. The problem is that the timing is so solid. Leary will have two minutes. Two minutes. Truth is that he has towers, you know? But Archers, Krogos with Botkin, it's gonna be complicated to stop. Yeah, that's going to be tricky indeed. Also, the tower is not really in the wood line right there, kind of protecting next to the wood line. So if you sit behind those trees, you might still find some kills. Archers still in production here for MBL, but obviously those archers aren't as good as Ethiopian archers. Yeah, and also with when, with a pike, if he's sending a knight, he's gonna help. Those crobos are going to be already there. Hmm, he's gonna go to the right side, I don't know. And now he's doing a tone center in the goal. Not going for the greedy approach, second tone center. But a lot of, a lot of army. Hmm, do you think here with a lot of cap archers, he'll be able to, to catch up the numbers because uh, well, he's even doing knights. Uh, he's going all in, uh, Leary, nearly. Yeah, and that's just the right move, right? So much aggression here coming from him all game, and we don't really see too many walls, so he knows I can keep up the pressure. Opponent couldn't really produce. I have the way better KD, and he feels confident that he can continue doing damage. Okay, there's the knight, and Kurosa is going to... He's going to take some bullets. No, he's not picking bullets, but he's creating chaos and also idle time. Still not in castle. It's going to be now. He's still ahead in village, but he's double the army. He's double the army. Leary is trying to keep getting the control. He doesn't have ballistic. Ballistic in this, at this point will help a lot. He will have killed already a lot of bullets. He's hitting them, but he's not killing. And now this is a siege war shot. I believe so. Uh, no, university. University okay. here. And yeah, hmm. obviously wants to get ballistic there eventually. Knights, still no upgrade, so won't do too well even against archers. And well, Leary, he, he finds more and more damage. Double the military, as you mentioned. Man. I don't know if, if ballistic here, when you don't have the numbers, it's gonna be an oath. 15 crossbows, three skirmishes, 19 for, for Leary, and also two tone centers. He will catch up in, in economy very soon. And uh, he has no stone. Well, he's mining. No, he's not mining for now. Ooh, look at those arches. Uh, let's see how many villagers they will find. I would be surprised if they find more than two. Now some more houses here. And Deary just runs away. Nice defense. Deary is so aware of all, basically everything going on. Yeah, so smooth. Very, very fast. Ballistic now will help, but you need, you need army for that. Because if you lose absolutely everything in the meanwhile, well, then Ballistic, is, it's, it will be completely useless. 17 army, 33 military. Doing more houses and probably now the market. No, well, another house. He has no wood for the market, okay? And you're gonna try to trap. There you go. And also with the knife, he's gonna clean everything the left. But Sino Ballistics here for Leary needs to do it the hard way, trying to chase those units down, but will do an okay job. But Knight lost now, can't be too unhappy with that. Yeah, I think he probably feel that he doesn't need the ballistic and it's a big investment and, and now he keep booming because he feel that he's really ahead, more army. And, and okay, facing those arches from the hands. But obviously, if he's switching to cap arches, it's gonna be different. But he's not switching, he's still going all crossbows. Isn't it weird? <sighs> Maybe he didn't really feel like he had the timing for the switch. Maybe going for skirmishes first and then going for CA could have been an option. But now, if you have crossbow, if you have a mix of crossbow and CA, that's just horrible to micro. Okay, well, he has. He's gonna have a skirmishes, at least skirmishes, only five. But he, they, they have ballistic. So let's see. If Lee is going to be able now to micro against those units without ballistic, we saw how he did. I think it was against Jordan, if I'm not wrong. And let's see if he's going to be able to do the same. He has a pike on the right, so he's going to know that he's coming very soon. Mm -hmm. Still on the left, so here he can achieve some damage. There's some palisade, but obviously it will be very easy to break. And yeah, it's, you can easily even go into the farms here, right hand side. Indeed, only palisades might find some kills here. One down? And no reaction or late one. Now he killed one Valier. Now he's doing the plus two armor. That's very nice. He's trying to, to counter with two knights. He's not really attacking to MBL. And you have to be careful against the hands. Valier is still ahead 
with the economy, yes, but not by much for now. And that night with only plus one, no, not even plus one, it's going down almost really fast. Oh, another Valir down, but this amount of archers here from Lear is very, very scary. And he's in such a good control. And the question is like, what are we really transitioning into if we are Hans here? Forward Seeds Workshop, I like that a lot. It has to be the 1TC play here by MBL. Now taking the big fights, Gurm numbers not high enough for MBL. Which I like it a lot, as you say, because now he needs to go all in. He knows that he's going to fall behind in economy and he invested a lot. Plus two, plus two, ballistic. Now the Seed was already forward. He's going to be able to kill. He, both are trying to make a look how they are dancing. One skirmish and one archer. And who is taking the battle? Leary, even without ballistic and with one upgrade less. If he's denying that Seeds Workshop, he's huge. He's really huge. Oh my god. He's Gonna make it, he did it. Skirms now chasing this one down. And remember, it's ballistics. I think there's not a great one for Leary. I think he needs to defend the defensive siege workshop himself. Goes for university first. Oh, oh, I think there will be some pressure coming, but oh no. Siege he has the Magro already too. there. He has the Magro too. And now trying to control that one. He's still on three tone centers with the Magro there and also soon ballistic. He should be able to hold yes, still eight villains more only. And uh, well, we all know, uh, Nelly, how good is MBL with the Mangolus Micro. Let's see if he's going to be able. But Lear is dropping super quick, and now the Mangolus is there. Those skirmishes are going to be bye bye. Indeed, they will be. Still takes quite okay. some kills with him. Has That's to be happy with that. Well, look at that. Found three crossbow kills, wow. make it soon four. That should have been a clear up. He gets so much oh. out of that army okay. still, man. Okay, that, that was amazing, actually. Amazing from MBL. I mean, he took as much as he could, for sure. Look at the Magonal. The crossbow is still there. And now, Imperial! Wow. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Out, out of nowhere, right? Uh, There's uh, uh, so much aggression. I close my eyes. A again? Two <laughs> just moving forward. Two villains under the TC, please, the villains. Mapo, the villains is so important. <laughs> no, Mangonal no, 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 is no. more important. The Mangonal, the Mangonal. Might be the best Mangonal player in the world, being MBL. Still dancing here, and will he find the kill? No, he won't. I think he needs to get the final shot of no, he can't. Got it, okay. Well, those villains are. What? Huh? In the hell? And now, Mangonal coming as well. How? He reached Imperial Age. I have no idea. I mean, I didn't see this coming. Three tone sentence, he's on the way to Imperial. Do you remember, guys, Mr. Your interview? I don't know how, but Leary reached Imper reach every age always faster. Yeah. It's incredible. Only one trade there, Mangnall the Mangnall. Now Mangnall still taking quite some time for MBL to be out. Okay, popped at the right hand side. Really late horse color here. Mangnall at the right hand side, a bit exposed. Knight could take that one, but now crossbows are coming over. Okay, Thanks. horse color is going to be, but I, I want to see MBL face when he noticed that his opponent is in Imperial. Because how you stop now, press the chemistry and Arbol is upright? <laughs> I don't know. Sure. It's just crazy. Yeah, okay, you're not take no. of that. Didn't take it. Shoot and delete. Oh, Got it. We'll get the kill. Okay. Well, he's... <gasps> oh. oh my god. What a badaboom there by Leary. Killing everything. Double the army. 10 villains more. Going to be in Imperial in 30 seconds. Holding without ballistic. Crazy how this guy is playing. Mm -hmm. And getting closer and closer to get the first game, Billy. Ten villagers ahead, obviously MBL miles away from ever reaching him and now sends some small groups over Leary with the timing going forward and MBL sees him and can't be happy with that one. Holy moly. And has to type the GG. No answer to the Arbalest that would be coming in. Uh, Leary, happy. I don't know if he felt super smooth in that one. It was like a super serious, but mm -hmm. look at this, look at this. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel great, it seems, right? We don't see him doing this so often, and um, <laughs> I mean, how he went to it, really? yeah, Well, he did add the second TC so much earlier, right? He didn't invest yeah. into walls, didn't have to go into all those towers that MBL went for, right? Then obviously Ethiopians, you get extra resources, reaching the next age. So he simply controlled his ego so well. And that's what I'm simply saying, right? We always look at his micro, but one of his greatest schools behind it micro. is... How many farms he's getting there and therefore getting up to the next age? He even did a few nights, not a lot, but mm -hmm. he did a stale with a few nights, did the university, did an upgrade ballistics till he was uh, up to Imperial mm -hmm. and he held it against all the upgrades. He didn't even have plus two armor, for example, in, in his arches. Yeah. Well, well, MBL got absolutely everything. I don't know what is going to be the next one, wait or enclose, but uh, Nile Leary is still looking so sharp. I mean, I think. The worst series we saw from Lear was the first against Nika. Maybe, maybe, and that was only game number one. Game they looked shaky, right? Yeah, if yeah, he yeah. just built Pikeman, I think 
that would have been like six out of six per yeah. close to perfect sets then. It's crazy. MBL, wait and enclose his options. I think I would like to see enclose this simply because there are more mind games, there are more wild civilizations matched up. Because if you have wait already, you basically take some more civilizations out of the equation and it's unlikely that you can surprise your opponent. Okay, well, this is MBL Bander, beautiful boar. Mm -hmm. If you guys are new, it's because he loves to land. Okay, and let's see, because we are going to see what Kapoch the surprise of the tournament has to say to us, guys. Hey guys, everyone, I am here for an interview. Thank you for sticking around today. Is the game going how you expect it? Uh, well, uh, the first series was pretty one-sided, but the games itself were closer than what you expect. And then, well, the, the series between Liri and MBL just started, and uh, Liri just playing amazing, I guess. So, yeah, it's... Mostly how most people expect it, I guess. So would you say you think it's going to be Leary and Viper in the final? Um, well, probably, but we've seen what MBL is capable of, capable of doing. So yesterday he just proved that he has what it takes and he can still win. So it's only 1-0. Absolutely. And is there anything that has taken you by surprise today? Uh, so far, no. Nothing, but yesterday there, there were a couple of surprises and, well, uh, it was, there were, uh, most of the series or the, the, the four series were just very close and, and amazing, I would say. Yeah, it's been really fun to watch, but yesterday was really exciting and really intense. I mean, everyone back here was celebrating yeah. and having fun watching, so it's been entertaining, but back to you guys. Mr. Capoch, Nelly. What a performance, he was, he was sad because he felt that in that acclivity with the Aztecs, he could have got it and, and get, then get uh, today into the semifinals. Uh, it was I, so close. I talked to him and he said, yeah, it's like, I still have Aztecs on acclivity, I won this match. And then he saw only crossbows, no CA, and he, he was so sure that he would advance. Could have been his semifinal, but it was Jordan's. But now we jump into game number two. Leary leading 1-0 after a pretty solid, solid performance there against MBL. Transitioning his Ethiopians into another win. Mm. It just looked so good with Britons and Ethiopians over all five Red Bulls now. Ooh, and game number two, it's enclosed with one crazy civilization as Kumans. That's another one that is, well, very, very tricky for everyone. The Saracens with the market abuse. Leary already exploring an MBL being annoying. Annoying. He's gonna be able to wall that? Nah. Uh oh, oh. Uh oh, okay. He's trying to, but uh, MBL is so good with this, nearly. Crazy how he found that vehicle. It was so close. I think Leary just ran to the TC, could have been an option as well. And what MBL is doing here is double archer range, full archer production, and now sends the first two archers out. The moment Leary goes for like two skirmishes. Is that double market? What? Double, 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 double. Is he trying to trade oh. with himself, ma'am? Oh my god, double market strategy! Well, the Kumas is double stable, he's doing the double market. What do you think about this strategy? Uh, it's a crazy one, and that's why we tune in to Red Bull Wallolo 5, because we see the top players coming up with some gameplays that we have never seen before. Yeah, and it's really great. I would love to see now a, a trade card. Uh, it would be so... <laughs> I mean, seriously, what's going on? Well, one has double market with, with two markets? No. You cannot get better the price, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's unexpected. He didn't notice. He finished the building or I mean. Maybe it's just a show off. Oh, you have cheaper buildings. Well, I have a cheaper building as well. Look at that. I can build multiple of them. Okay, now second to center for MBL resources. <laughs> I can't believe when MBL is going and see the two markets, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to see his face. Let's I don't see know if he's he gonna make some reaction. Uh, let, let's focus. He's, he's going to go. Focal war for MBL, please, because Leary is on the way to Castle. He's going to find one of those markets right now. And he's, well, the truth is, with the Sarsis, it's not a big impact in your economy because they are so cheap. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's not a big deal in, the, in, in, in that regard. But then you are losing also the advantage that you get. Uh -oh. Let's see. Yeah, those look at archers the instantly we stop. And I really don't like this double archery range, long distance approach. Like, what is he trying to achieve there? The archers now may be going to the right-hand side, but Leary is so calm, scouting the left-hand side. Leary is playing perfectly, and he, I think, could get a great timing. Look at that. Villager now going over. He knows what MBL is up to. 
the double TC play will be planned and I think he will drop a forward siege workshop. Wow, forward siege workshop. Well, usually Lee is all more playing with the meta, with the slow push. He's trying now to push quite, quite fast, which is, makes sense. He's going to keep at home just to protect the goal. And uh, yeah, well, siege workshop, but uh, he will need some extra building. Maybe he's going to make a stable forward as well. I think open siege workshop and then maybe stable after that one. Maybe build a defensive TC at your gold could be an option. For now, the archers obviously are enough to defend. He sends some further forward. Shouldn't really use a unit. He really has to be careful at home because he has no stone to make a tower. He's sending more and more units. MBL has good amount of units coming, and that really is in danger to be lost. Placing an armor, he's bringing also a few skirmishes, and he's in castle age. He has the Krogos and the Botkin, but he needs to micro. He will lose. Quite a lot here. He's uh, with more army. Need to be careful. That village is probably going to go down. Let's see. If oh, he bought it a stone. Okay. 200 stone? Why he bought it 200 stone? Oh, double click there. Uh oh, Maybe a bit uh -oh. Too much. this is not good. This is definitely not good. We need to check there. If that this is going to be up, it will be. But he's losing few villages. He lost already two. Well, that one, the first one was in the start. And now uh, the TC is going to be up. And now focus in the aggression. But MBL is about to go up. The problem is, Leary is here. And remember, Saras and Arches, extra bonus against the buildings, against the Palisades. Yeah. But also, Q means more HP on the Palisades. Yeah. So that equals out a bit more. Saracens probably still very efficient there in getting those walls down. Will he find the villager kill? Doesn't look like it. MBL with a nice save. Yeah, he need the market now. And look at his economy. He's with 15 villages more. 15 villages more, double TC. If he's going up to Castle, it's Kumas who have here the advantage. Yeah, and he can easily go triple stable, so I would give the advantage Oof. to MBL here. And I think the siege workshop might be a bit too far away. Probably, yeah, because he he, he needs to attack the goal. This is what is giving him the, oh my God, but make the market 700 gold, nearly. He could be <laughs> up to castle a long time ago. There you go, he's dropping the market and he will buy the foot to go up. Still, Lear need to make the damage, otherwise this is gonna be so complicated. The economy of this is, is already really, really big. Sloppy play by Leary over and over again. Lost two crossbows at home, lost another crossbow at the front here. And normally we see him playing this one close to perfect. And this time, also macro not on point. You see no more crossbows in production. Uh, this is a tricky play. Does Leary try to play this one three TCs? I don't think that's really what he no, needs no, right he's now. No, no, he's doing the monastery now. So it seems that he's going two tone centers, two tone centers economy, and now trying to make some monks because he can kind of expect a stable and some knights, but he has to be careful with the skirmishes. The mangonel is coming. There's the tower as well. I don't know if he's cleaning those skirmishes. It's going to be tricky for MBL, but he's, he's doing a good job. But two mangonels is already quite a lot. He, he's, he's on a scout, but it's okay. And with the to those two mangonels, he can put the tower down. He can see those scout. Mapu, let's see fog of war from, from the area. He, he can see one, okay. So he knows that he's going to stable, but he's kind of expected in the way. Yeah, I think so as well. Now the big question is how many stables are we going for? Yeah, I think even three stables could be a very reasonable choice. Maybe selling some of the wood, buying some more food. Now goes for the aggression, tries to take down that tower. Obviously only 700 HP because MBL is still in fuel edge. Yeah, that tower is going to go down very fast. Uh, he's doing already monks. There's still not a lot of farming, but it's also true that now there's a, not a lot of resources for MBL in the mill and if he's getting two three monks gonna be so difficult for Leary to clean that for MBL sorry to clean that army. Is this the spot where we should see step lens as well? It's possible. Yeah but the problem is the mount. Yeah, but still, maybe some light skirmishes. here could be a thing but then he could actually start producing scouts already. Maybe just goes knight very typical unit and indeed he doesn't go for the gimmicky unit. Now Leo is playing super aggressive. You know that against the Kumas, you need to do it. Oh, I like this. He's killing the, the stables. But not against humans. He yeah, he's so cheap. Rebuild yeah. one for 75 wood a bit further back. Yeah, that's true. So maybe better go for the... Uh, yeah, well, but still, you, you, you decrease the production for your opponent. And uh, he need to make another stable, need to go back. There's a siege workshop. Oh, trying to kill the village. That stable is going to go down. He get a knight, but there's already two monks and gonna make another one in the bank. Archie range forward and the village is still 10 villages behind, but uh, not it's not letting MBL produce. There's some army in the south, I don't think so, it's gonna make any damage there, but uh, yeah, it's a skirmish, that's okay for Leary. 
Now the first mango popping any second. Will Liria realize that one in time? 85% here, doesn't know about the Seeds Workshop. Probably won't be aware. It's likely that Liri will find a kill. Oh, the mango, no. Let's see now, Fog of War, he can see the mango. He's got, he noticed, immediately noticed, but he got the most perfect army composition for the kid, uh, Nilly. Oh, it looks pretty good. Goes very aggressively there. Still, the one villager should be somewhere at the front. Scorpion lost him to the TC, but lots of other villagers lost. And we are 10 ahead on paper. Yeah, well, we can see. We can see that he's adapting so well. In the previous game, he was more defensive and went up to Imperial Age. In this one, seems he's against the Kumas. He went all, all in. Two bullets down now. He's coming with the knights. Let's see the conversion. Let's see the conversion. Five knights, four monks. He's going to convert all the knights. Ay, ay, ay. He's converting all the knights. How many? He's going to convert three, four. Four knights converted. Holy moly, that should never have happened. Perfectly played there by Liri. And MBL can't believe it. Monks, obviously, not really his favorite unit to play against. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, uh, Liri has some good micro with the, with the archers. Do you think he has good micro with the monks? Not not indeed. <laughs> like that and now some pressure here on the main base we know that MBL might build uh, another TC there in the back but still doing so, quite some pressure it's ridiculous. on that gold it's ridiculous he just remake the same two stables in the same mm -hmm. spot as you mentioned with with 50% cheaper oh he's so open he's going with the knives he's gonna now try to raid the wood and he need to walk he need to walk MBL, you need to wall those. You need to wall those. It's your own knight. It's your own knight. Oh, he oh. won it in the last second. Good job there for MBL. He's going to still kill a few villains, but he is raiding so hard and a lot of idle economy. Liri is playing amazing, uh, Nilly. Liri now getting Sanctity, increasing the Monk HP from 30 to 45. That means they survive a full shot of a mangonel in their face. Speaking of full shot mangonels in your face. There you go. MBL with the good defense. Yeah, but no redemption. He's doing redemption now. He got sanity as well. He has to be careful. He's going to try to micro that one. Let's see if he's going to split those units. Otherwise, a big balaboom can make him lose everything. And we have seen... Ooh, that was a good shot. That was definitely a good shot. But the knight is coming. The knight is coming. And that knight is going to take it. Ooh, there's camels now. Uh, you don't want to go... If you are, if you are forced to go camels with, with humans, you know that you are in a really bad spot. That could have been an instant conversion against the Mangon on there. Now goes for that conversion. MBL knows what's up. Could also now switch to the Knights. Didn't do that one. That will be, take the full conversion time here. Some misclicks by Liri, but still will find one Knight and maybe a Camel. Yes. He got it. He got it. He's going to lose the Mangon. No, he's saving the Mangon. No, he lost it. But he still have another Mangon. And he deleted. Take the, take the Monk. He's taking the, score, taking the lead in Villiers, Nelly, when he was 15 behind. And he has more than double the army. Echo KD, 19-2. KD total, 42-23. Still no Playing real golden come. No Playing real golden come. But MBL, soon he can afford a castle. The question is, where is he going with it? And look at that <laughs> one. Attack the mill. Leary get with the easy clear up. Look at the stone of Leary, ma'am. He's coming. He's coming from the south. Mapu with a lot of villages. How many? We can check how many villages are. Ten villages. More crawlers. He's going to make a castle on his face. And it's going to be surrounded by, 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 by army in the north. And a castle in the south. It's true that he can make a castle. Oh, it's gonna be a war of who's doing the castle faster? Hmm. Yes, he has a stone for a castle too. Yeah, the question is, is he trying to build the castle there or is he just going to the gold? I think, fortunately for MBL, Larry will kind of hug the trees there and not really go for an aggression over there. But MBL, I think that looks like a counter castle to me. Uh oh, oh, he's missing that. He's going forward uh -oh. to make a castle on his face. And uh, Leary didn't notice, but he's going to convert the archery range. No, there's a Mangonel. And the castle oh, is literally on his face a little bit faster than MBL. Oh, he could see it. I think he could see those those villains for a moment. Yeah, he could see for a moment, but now doesn't see them anymore. Another TC. Um, <laughs> Look at the castle that MBL is going to make. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, he goes to progress. Yeah, I think he just could have built a defensive castle himself. Yeah. He had 20 villagers there. I think yeah. he could have denied the castle of Liri. Interesting choice. Maybe he felt like defending is not an option. He needs to make it messy. That he has That's army in the south. So Let's go to the south map to see if he's going to make it. Mm, I don't think he has army to defend there, but the castle is on his face. But just look at the difference. He's taking what? Three farmers? Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. it. Well, at the top, he's taking the woodline, he's taking the gold, mangonels now still can't convert. And remember, guys, normally repairing a building costs 50% of the cost with the TC, double the wood cost. Okay, so that's quite a lot. That's definitely quite a lot. He's gonna make a lumber camp there, he's taking the town center. 
And, uh, well, the problem is not the devil is different here, guys. Leo has 33 army and BL got just pretty much nothing. Three knights and two minecarts. He's converted now a couple of those knights. As oh, you no. can see, no, he couldn't convert that one. And, uh, and even incredible. The there, and Leary super happy with how he's playing this one. Incredible. 30 population lead. I mean, it's... Uh, we are speechless. Man. Yeah, that was I mean, really, really well played seriously. by Leary. He, he instantly saw, okay, that play that you're doing isn't really to you trying to get to Castle H. That is you building the second TC. Like he played against Slam, and Slam couldn't really punish it, but the Sneaky Siege Workshop or the crossbows, Leary with a great timing after using the double market. Yeah, I mean, he went all aggressive. He, he got 15 bullets behind. I don't know what he's is telling about, but uh, he controlled the game completely. Absolutely. Man, crazy, crazy timing in the north, and he made the castle in the south, having a lot of farming. He did the monastery a little bit after the, the siege was shot. Those four knights converted mm -hmm. and stopped it completely mm -hmm. in the NBL. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was maybe better weight making light caps and, and mangonos. <sighs> it's tricky. Yeah. I, I think maybe dance a bit more with mangonos. I think just three stables, hide them a bit further back. Your yeah, opponent will most likely know it. Light calf. Better against the monks, worse against the crossbows. I think Leary just put on lots of pressure, and I think now it is time for MBL to switch into the second gear. Yeah. But we will hear some crazy game that's happening in the backstage. Riley and Britt, take it away. Well, they may be out of the tournament, but listen to me, your chance for glory is not yet over because we've put together a special game here. A bunch of the casters and players have drawn their favourite units from Age of Empires 2. Your challenge here is to look at these drawings and I, I do want to tell you they are exceptional. <laughs> um, you have to guess not only what the unit is but also, right, who drew it. Let's have a look at the first Perfect. one here. Oh boy. <sighs> I have to say, <laughs> a cavalry archer. I guess. It doesn't help. It has to be a cavalry archer, I would say. So both on cavalry archer there. Okay. All right. And who do you think? And who do you think drew it? Doubt. Doubt. All right. Doubt. Okay. No? I go. Dogao. All right. We've got Dogao and Doubt for a cavalry archer here. We're going to reveal the artist. It is. I have no idea who drew that. Is that T90? What? <laughs> T90. Is that T90? So T90. And it is, but it is a cav archer. So well done. Yes. Nice. Well, both. That's well, right. It's excellent. I mean, well look at the artistry on that. I can kind of see how that's is. You can kind of see a T in there somewhere. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the next one here. Ah, oh it's the Lord. famous Age of Whoa. Empires 2 oh, unit. I, I know that one. Yeah, the yeah, Stegosaurus. Know. It looks like a Stegosaurus. All right, what is it? Flaming Camel. Flaming Camel. Flaming Camel. Okay, who drew it? Who likes Flaming Camel? Give me the only one. Viper. That was it. Hera? Barrels. Barrels, all right, okay, let's have a look. <laughs> it is... Who oh, actually wrote his name uh, legibly, so that's a nice little bonus oh, for nice. us. Yeah. All right, okay, well, Flaming Camel, the correct call there. Okay. Ah, here we have the mosquito <laughs> on a grizzly bear. I wonder who did that. <laughs> hey, Kara. Yes. Well, it's clearly a wind hazard, and it's drawn by, <laughs> by Kara. Kara, do you have any. It's, any? it's in my masterpiece. It's, like, <laughs> it's, masterpiece. it's a wind hazard. All right, let's see. Is it, is it, uh, let's Maybe see. this should live on the castle now. I think it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. it is you know, either that or a museum. Sent it straight to the Louvre, I yeah, would have yeah, thought, exactly yeah. right. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Well done, Hera, really. I mean, I don't know what you're watching. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Whoa, that's like actually a insane. true master. Wow, yes. that is very impressive. I wonder who did that. That is oof, very talented. Someone artist. who knows both people. It's a monk. Oh, who is that talented to grow? Wow. After seeing that rabbit, hmm. <laughs> uh, can be decent at drawing. Yeah, I mean, who amongst us may have been good, good enough to draw? Riley, this is Riley. He's talking about Riley. Stop it. No, no. It has to be Riley. Who amongst us would be talented and handsome and artistic enough to draw? Oh, it was me. Oh, it was me after all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who amongst us would be talented enough to draw? Oh, it was me. Oh, it was me after all. Yeah. Who is here that's not talented at drawing? The best of Firelight. Oh, well, thank you very much. This is interesting. Oh, that's very good. That's a male villager, right? Actually, I'm not sure about that. All right, it's an quickly. quickly. I would say it's a, yeah, it's a villager. Right? It's a villager? It's a villager. It's a villager. And villager. Bars. Bars. MBL. 
Oh. It was balls. Oh. It was balls. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Pastor, I think you won. Not too bad at all. All right, we've got a couple more of them. We may be able to come back to them here, but right now we're out of time. We're going to head back over to the, uh, the caster, uh, castle over there. Well done, boys. Thanks very much for hanging out. Thank you very much. That was a ripped village, right? <laughs> well, where is mine? Bombard. I wanted to see my unit. But you, they you, don't you, know that... Pay? Men don't spoil that you already... I know, I didn't paint any. Okay. It's late? Mm, I think they Kinda. heard that. Okay. Well, I, I want to see how that one concludes later <laughs> on, for sure. <laughs> Interesting, good drawings. Like, holy moly, Riley. I think if it's not working out with his casting but, career, maybe he goes into what, painting. What is he doing here? Yeah, I'm I surprised. Don't know. That, that is so weird. Well, we still have the continuation of the set of Leary and MBL. Let's pick the brain of MBL a bit. We have an interview with him. I'm MBL and uh, I'm doing pretty good. The event has been awesome. Like, uh, it's been so good to be here. Like, the production is so professional and meeting the players again is really great after all these years. My Swiss stage was kind of up and down. Uh, Faith Bars uh, kind of is considered the easiest opponent. I'm going to try to like play my A game and try to stay a bit safe and try to focus more on economy I think more than like aggressiveness. Try to stay back and try to be in the comfort zone, drag it out to the late game. MBL micro, macro, strategy for experience, speed. I think the strategy you could be a little bit higher. But, uh, well, it's, it's about uh, opinions, uh, Mr. Nelly, but I, I understand yeah. the, the game. Well, I, I, I've seen some Burmese strategies by MBL. Oh, I also well. have, uh, I've seen some Frank strategies and Berber mm. strategies by MBL. Now we are jumping into wait and see that already one villager was lost. Make it two villagers already lost here. Leary with quite some problems. MBL with a good opening. The master ball aimer. Ooh, Franks and the Berbers. Opening RT range, they are very far, Tubal is down, seems like Leary is not that happy with this one. And uh, well, good start for, for MBL for sure. And uh, yeah, we don't want a 3-0, uh, Mr. Nelly, so we are going to give some energy now to MBL. But obviously, he need to make the strategy work. This is, in my opinion, an interesting matchup and Beres could do the job here. Ranks for Leary, opening archers, archer range also for MBL, interesting. Most likely that they are going to switch into some stables later on. Obviously, as we know, you are starting with... Ooh. Oh, 300 foot. 300 he foot. He didn't. Man. He didn't. Leary, <laughs> look at this <laughs> 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 He's like, you are the lamer boy, I can lame you more. Uh, you are the lamer boy, I can lame you more. Push oh, away yeah. here though, that's pretty interesting. Obviously, villagers are really exposed there. MBL a bit out of position with his crossbow. Mm -hmm. Still chilling at the top, maybe not he a village in danger. Coming. One village will be down probably. No, 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 no. And the spear is also there, he's gonna wall. But he knew that he was coming. It's still a lot of villages that are now idle and the problem. It's out of the free foot. Ooh, well, he has a tower. Yeah, I like tower that choice. For Leary, obviously, Franks, quite a nice bonus there with all the berries that they have for themselves. Archer still quite annoying, both players. Looking into Castle Age eventually. And the big difference, though, that MBL pushed away from his free foot while Leary is still getting it. And he, being Franks is, is super important. That's why probably he's using the, the tower early. Mm -hmm. Still three villages behind. He got. Idle TC, 23 seconds, he lost two villages, that's the difference exactly. And he's, even like this, always reaching Castle faster. It's yeah. crazy. Well, it's, it's simply those villagers, right? Yeah. And MBL is walling with like three now, one idle villager, make it three idle villagers. So basically seven villagers that don't really gather too many resources now, one building the market. And we see everything balanced for Mr. Leary, who is up. Another village down. Four villages already. It's gonna be five probably. Yeah, yeah. That village is going to go down. Five villages down. Maybe six, maybe six, man. Five villages down. Still no six archers. because he got the archers yeah. already there, but he's five villages killed. Eight villages ahead, and he's still Leary reaching castle is faster. And the problem now is if he's doing a stable, the knights are gonna be deadly. Uh, let's see, we are fully walled here, right, okay. as MBL, so let's see if that's going to happen. Market being used quite heavily now. Only five villagers on go, though. And the question is, Leary, is he adding TCs? If so, where? And 
Is he going to buy some stone for now? Still archers going over to the other side. Market by him as well. Okay, he's in the market probably to buy a stone. Uh, he's sending archers. I don't see a stable. I don't think that. Oh, he's gonna job. be over chop. Look how Mapu show, show you that he's over chop right now. Oh the archers are coming. Are you there? Oh my, he's coming. It's really coming. It's open already there. The archers are about to be there. 30 seconds to be in castle. He's waiting. He's waiting for for the action. Dougal is forward. He's gonna go all in again. Is this a monk rush or what's going to happen here? And that, that could be so ugly. That could be so ugly for MBL. I think we need to take a look at him. Is Liri oh, moving man. in? Oh, oh he has no oh, idea. Man. He has no idea. Let's see MBL. Let's see MBL. And it's open. It's open. It's open. It's inside. Wow. I can't believe what I'm watching. And now with a lot of farming, all those villages, this is disaster. Total disaster for MBL. The woodland is exposed. Bill is going down, sending everything back. Wow. And you saw MBL's reaction here. He could not believe it. He felt like he was so far ahead. He was in such a good spot, but certainly being pushed away from that woodland. Still, nice villager advantage. Some aggression happening at the same time as well. But what? look at that. Leary, Siege Workshop and Monastery. Siege Workshop and Monastery? Oh, man. And we thought that he was going only with the meta. Now he's going to wall that one. He can take that villager. He didn't notice. He could kill that villager, but he didn't. Now the crossbows, he's going all aggressive. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Oh, in? Want to finish fast? Crossbow, that one should be walled off. Some skirmishers here shouldn't really get too much done. And now the defensive TC. Gold spot here for MBL further at the left hand side. So that aggression could be pretty good in that area. Okay, he's losing that one. No, but let's focus in the seat. Okay, he can, he's gonna get inside. Ah, even if he does. Oh, wow. he will. But now the TC is going to be there. So shouldn't be a big problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so as well. I think so. Wouldn't need to lose that villager there. Lots of idols though by MBL. And that aggression at the left hand Let's side. Let's take the siege, uh, Mapu, please. Yeah. Because he's gonna gonna have there the siege workshop. Ram! Does MBL know? That's the big question. No, no, no. He, don't think so, he knows. Oh, oh my god, look at the spot he chose. Oh. The one that he cannot see because there is no building, no outpost, no nothing. Three archers there, 39 bullets. Look at the army again, 17 army, 12 crossbows. Coming with the monk. Uh, Nelly, what's going on? I think Leary is now leaping around. Going to the left hand side and then wants to attack with the crossbows, with the monks and the siege workshop. Let's see if MBL will allow that one. He is actually attacking with That's those open. knights. That's also open. Oh, Between the stable and the artillery, it's open. Uh oh, uh oh. If he killed the knight and go in with the crossbows, it's game over. If he's taking the knight and going in with the crossbows, it's over. If he's over, ooh, he noticed. He but noticed. Still. But I the think run that's, is coming. that's a horrible wall, I believe. He can just sit between the archer range and the stable and can block the gold completely. Yeah, and he's doing. There you go, run forward. He's gonna take maybe the tower, but this is an incredible aggression from the kid. Leary has full control. Uh, nearly. Oh, a double monk already out here. Two more in the queue, completely pushed away from gold. MBL, he could technically take another gold house of the space. Okay. Ah, that's going to be tricky. That won't be walled even with those two houses. And MBL, yeah, he needs to move his villagers. But that's quite some nice aggression. Okay, the stable is going to be down. Let's focus if he's going to be inside. I think he can. There's few arches, but he has a cross. He's going to be walled. Oof, no, no, no. I think he will be in. House he in will the center's in. down. No, it's not. It's not in. It's not in yet. What? And once he gets the archer, the villager can finish the job, goes on to gold. That's some nice moves here by MBL. Maybe he can make a manganol defense happen. He has a manganol on the field now. Those houses got nice defense by Leary. He's defending with two villages doing the houses. That archer is going to help with the, with, the cro with the archer from MBL. Now the manganol is going to help. He can stabilize. And after all, only... Well, no, two villages lead for MBL. The problem is the amount of farming in Italy. Yeah, and those three knights, it's kind of the units that he wants to go into, right? Has two more at home here. It's its a wild mix for a Frank player, right? Ram, Spearman, Mon, Crossbow. Not, Not really something that Not you expected. scale into too well. No, no, there is the Mangonel, but he's coming with another Mangonel as well. This Mangonel battle is so important. We always see how MBL play with those units. Great, but he didn't oh, notice. Oh, that was oh. terrible, Lily. Oi, 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 oi. Not really typical for him. Maybe the nerf turning into him. Maybe just a normal slip up unrelated to anything going to happen here. But MBL, I think he needs to drop some more stables. Yeah. I think one stable alone won't do the job anymore. Also, the Mangonels here is very solid for MBL. Remember that uh, Frank doesn't have retention, so you can be okay, mm -hmm. you know, and then the, share the... Uh, the Magnus, the monks are so basically effective for, for the knights in that situation, and, and that's it, but the amount of farming is still insane. 
Let's take a look how we want to approach this one. Three walls were always flying in. Monks, I don't, I'm not really sure if MBL knows about all those monks at the top. Probably not. Probably not. Def oh, he's going with the crowbars, but that's the problem. He got the seats and the monks in the north, and now with the archer, he's going to try to raid. He's, he's just corner. I mean, MBL is cornered completely. Of course, he still will more benefit because he has three TCs, but the amount of army is insane. He needs a huge mangola shot. But perfect defense here, Magnol around. Liri spotted it, though. Nice dodge, nice dodge. And the Magnol could actually go down? No, decides on the village to go. No, he's fine. He's repairing. He has still so many crossbows. And now with the Mangon now, this is good for MBL. Taking one Mangon, he's going to be able to take another in the south. Mm, no, because there's so many crossbows and the monks. Now he can see the monks. He has to be careful. If he converts to knights, then it's... Uh, <laughs> and one monk is still converting. Okay, now okay. of it. Okay, going back. Slightest of a little leads here for MPL. Economy-wise, obviously looking better for Liri. Having both of those farm upgrades for free. Stable now goes down. Crossbows, five monks. Let's see if the conversions Ooh. are going to be good enough again. Crossbows, losing some HP. Shouldn't really matter with five monks. Okay, sue them because you can, remember, you can heal those. And recover the mangonel. Okay, one for one. That wasn't terrible for, for Liri there because it was about to lose it for free. For nothing, that's to mangonel. Crossbows, a scale bard in armor. All right, plus one armor, and now what? Ooh. Well, we probably will see some stables being dropped. I wouldn't be surprised if Liri is dropping them at home. And, well, then just goes for quite some nights. Not really going for it yet. Yes, some nights somewhere. Ah, there we have the sneaky stable. There's the stable. There's the stable on the right side. That manual is not, not going to be down. And now he's sending one spear, going to help. He got the crops as well. The problem, the, the problem guys, is that uh, MBL has no army. He has no army, and uh, Liu is micro and also even better. Well, not in the north. He was one for one then. He deleted those palisades. But how you take those crossbows? Also with monks behind, sending now knights. He's going full aggressive. Yes, let's do this. That was a good one. This is MBL with the great Mangonel micro. But Liri with the arches, he's going to try to kill some villages. He's looking so, so, so bad for MBL, Nelly. Oh yeah, and let's take a look, those knights are now moving in, we'll find the kill against that mangonel, house being deleted, wants to defend a bit better, 15 population leads here for Liri, more stables being dropped, finally! Two rams, but he's coming with, look at the army he has, uh, oh good mangonel shot, this is what he needs, he needs to clean those archers, the problem is, he's doing nice, he has four monks, he also coming with the two rams, he might be able to kill the buildings, he's taking all, Oh, that Mangolet won't help. He got the knights, he got the monks, he got all the army composition he needs, nearly. Monks can now heal up those crossbow, can maybe heal up those knights as well. Siege Workshop likely to go down, goes deep into the base here of our Norwegian, who is heavily behind in score and population. He's so behind, as you can see. He's ready in the south, taking one by one. Yeah, Bill is in the, in the south, there with the crossbows. He's now committing too much, going close to the tone center. Oh, he lost quite a lot there, Leary. Yeah. He keeps losing, there's the Mangonel. And this knight being annoyed, the problem is that, look at that efficiency. Is that a Lambert camp or a mining camp? <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, it's I don't know. Camp. And okay. yeah, now finally the 30 C MBL still with a very good defense. And oh, it actually is a mining camp. In a mining camp, okay. Uh, yeah, so no more wood, and now he's coming, he's doing camels, but he got five monks the whole game. No, he has the monks all the time, so he can convert. And what is different, he's getting closer, still more army, but population, well, it's almost the same, 100 for both. No safe there, nice yeah. move, and yeah, MBL actually looking pretty good, you have to say. Has the better economy, arguably the better civilization than to transition into mass knights and camels. Now just needs to make sure that that Magno will be safe, camels trying to come over, Oof. gets the shot, only one kill though. He okay, killed one, but this is the problem, he's still five monks. He's coming with another Mangonel. That Mangonel is lonely. He's, he's gonna send more monks. Not, not yet. Doing now the pike. He convert the camel. Uh -oh. Now he can but commit. Four monks converted one camel. That means only one other monk can convert. That's why MBL is jumping on this one. He's committing. He's committing, trying to kill all the monks. And now MBL should take everything. Mm -hmm. Should do a lot of damage. And he's definitely taking a lot of units. You can see how the army is getting closer and closer, cleaning a lot. MBL is gonna kill all the monks. He waited his opportunity and he got it. And now he's cleaning absolutely 
everything. What a great observation there by MBL, knowing, okay, those monks will be useless for quite some time. So he jumped on that army, still ate a conversion, but a beautiful clear up by him. Ahead in villagers, probably better civilization. I actually prefer MBL's position here. Uh, Man, let's go. Absolutely, absolutely. 86 villages, 94, seven villages, more and more army. Now minus ton, right? They leave minus ton and try to get the middle. Is the momentum, is the, the momentum for MBL to try to go aggressive and go all in. The only thing that excuse me a little bit from Leary, 50 farmers. Oh boy, he's so crazy behind this one. And I think, look at the resources. Is he thinking about imping this one? Maybe he goes for Pike only here. Something that we wanted to see from Hera yesterday, right? Against the Berbers. His Pike switch a bit too late. Liri seems a bit more aware of that one, but only two barracks and the gate actually open at the front. MBL might find the timing here. Certainly the faster in for Leary. He's gonna get in. He needs to find a hole. He definitely needs to find a hole, but the map is closed for both. Not only for him. And now Leary is super safe at home. He took also those nights. Hmm. It's incredible. I mean, oh, he find a hole. He can raid, but Leary is on the way to Imperial. I mean, I think that's Imperial. He's walling all. He's walling the woodland. As you can see, he's now moving the wow. farmers. <laughs> he's walling. He's walling everything, LA. Wow. And how many villagers will he lose? I think should be one. one. The rest of those were saved. One. Well, maybe a bit on the ballsy side that they didn't run those a bit further. MBL will get the center control here. The question is, will he hold it? Because Liri with mass harbors should be able to get some stuff in. The question also, Liri, is he going for ramps or is he finally collecting some stone to get traps eventually? Well, we need to see. We need to see what is going to happen. The problem is that this transition to Imperial is extremely, extremely smooth. It's true that now he's, he has 30 farmers, a lot of gold. He can buy his, uh, his resources here. He can buy the food to go up to Imperial. That's and actually MBL. <laughs> That's MBL getting stone over at the side of Leary. That's something oh that God. shouldn't really be the case. Yeah, it's, it's 18, 18 on the stone. Where's the castle? We need to make the castle. Oh, he's coming from, to the left. Ah, the left okay. is to collect some more stone. Okay. I think he Even should more. do it in the center. Hmm. Trick, tricky spot, certainly. Or is he just doing it defensively and tries to get to the better army composition? Certainly, Hussar, Camel Archer, the killer army composition here. Will be sick. Will be sick. The problem is the timing. It's still two minutes difference going to be. Mm -hmm. Two minutes difference. I love how MBL has adapted and has balanced his economy. Mm -hmm. Now, Leo have all the halves. What do you think he will do? Chemistry to try to go maybe bombard cannons? I'm not sure. I think bombard cannons are not really the Leary unit, right? I think he will move around a bit. Maybe some more ramps. Goes for Mangonel over here. We'll need to see some walls. Good ones here by MBL. I would really love to see him go on stone, but still no stone. See on a stone. And you need with Franks, you need not only traps, also for, for Chivari. Of course, he's going to go full halves. He might feel so confident that he's ahead in the economy, but not that much anymore. It's true that I think MBL need to need to make more farmers in the mm -hmm. Yeah, only 27 there, not really what we want to see. <laughs> Still love to see those on stone. Second castle is not unlikely, third castle is not unlikely. He has so many villagers on stone now everywhere. Just important that he holds the right hand side. Now ramps and production. But Leary, I mean, what transition is doing? I don't see how about the upgrade. He's in Imperial already and what's going on? Oh, he actually goes into Cavaliers. I'm quite surprised by that okay. as well. Man, has 18 pikemen, goes for more night upgrades. Oh, and but he's raided. MBL, oh, if what? he just goes Camel Archers, that won't be that easy. What is he building? Cavaliers. But what is he building uh, Leary on the right? He has a lot of, a lot of on the right. He's now going in. And then, oh my God, a lot of stable here. And now he's open, so he's raiding all his economy. Going all aggressive with those Cavaliers. So, so annoying. Look at the score because Leary is non-stop raiding his opponent, not giving him time to breathe. Oh, a really good move here by MBL to quickly wall this one off. Knight still annoying though. Can he wall around the knight? He's not really focusing on it, not going to happen. Okay, maybe one, maybe one house and now, oh no! Oh. He actually wanted to click it away, but with the right click reseated the farm. He couldn't. This is the plus four hand card. Cavalier is still now finally five bullets on stone for Leary and is still raiding constantly on the right. He got few camels there, but so annoying move here for 
for uh, for NBL what the Liga is doing nearly. Camel Archer, the key unit of this matchup. Another raid here coming in. Cavalier, obviously against the soon to be Bracer to see with ballistics, eventually dying, but Leary will get so much control and he's controlling the center, the key element of this map. He's controlling, he's controlling the center, he's still raiding. You have seen how he oh, had... no. oh, oh, I why? love that castle. Why? Do you like that castle? Do you prefer in the middle? I think someone at home would have made so much more okay. sense. He can never ever defend that castle. Well, maybe what he wants is to attack, uh, you know, and denying the goal, but he's still denying the goal, as you say. He's going to the middle, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Villagers being pulled, tries to wall in those villagers. One at the top can't be contested. But even then, right, at one point, Liri can just get to three rams, and you will never have army around that if the castle goes up at all. Yeah, oh my god, he's not gonna be up. Let, let's see, how is the percentage? 75%, the Cavaliers are coming. I can't believe, I can't believe that he's not gonna be up. Well, there's Willis inside, he's trying to kill them all. The Cavaliers are there, and now he's just denying the castle. It's not that it was only about castle, according to Nili, it's that it's not happening. Oh god, okay. And luckily, at least he's not really investing into any Cam Arts production then, because that one, yeah, it bought him quite some time, I even have to say, right? Now Cavaliers are going over there, Cam Archer's numbers are rising and contesting the center will be the next crucial spot, Archer range for top ring. 41 bullets killed, 41 bullets killed, 11. It might if you have the castle, but still, this is good army. NBL oh, oh, oh. with more army, with more and a strong army. Look at now how he's trying to make the castle, but the Cavaliers are denying himself. This castle is not gonna be up. If, 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 this castle might be about castle. This yeah. might be even more dead villagers. I think he shouldn't really focus on the Cavaliers. What is he doing? I think focusing the villagers might be the better thing. Yeah, I think he can easily find 20 villager kills here. And he is going for it. Cavaliers can't really find too much. But I think the camera numbers were not high enough. Yeah. MBL has He's to give up his dreams of denying this castle. He's doing the castle. That denying that castle was crucial. So as you mentioned, if he did the castle before there will be... Do <laughs> you think that castle is going to be <laughs> I, mean, I don't think Look so. how he walled here. He walled everything. A stone wall, gate. That castle will never go up. He also has the castle at home, and he's on 140 what? billion. What is that castle? That's way too aggressive. No, MBL, you don't have the numbers yet. You need some heavy camels in front of that. You are, you're giving for camel archers, but I think raiding there makes way more sense. That is so incredibly aggressive. Can, can this castle go up, man? It's 28 um, against Well, he will, because he's sending absolutely all the billions. How many? 30 million villages there. Oh my goodness, he has so many. 27 villages. And now what? Because uh, Leary is gonna make Trebuchet. Still, he knows that the middle of the goal is so important. The Trebuchet is behind that cast. The Paladin upgrade. Wow, how can he afford that? That's what? just crazy. Goes in for another rage at the side. I'm still lacking heavy camel here, man. I think that's such a crucial yeah. upgrade facing off against those Paladins. Well, how he's doing this? Because his economy is insane. You can see how he has all the farm habits for free. He has hand card, not even hard card or heavy pro for, for MBL. MBL is getting raided completely by, by Leary. Those, it, it's incredible how he managed to have the, the Paladin upgrade with all the raiding as well, because he also lost a lot of buildings, but still, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Now Leary is losing so many buildings as well. No more stone for MBL, couldn't really get on the, and that one castle? the left hand side. Obviously by buying. Oh, goes for the Look counter attack now, but nah, he's quick wards by Liri and those Cam Archers, they don't really want to kill villagers necessarily, right? We already laid him, they want to kill Paladins, they want to decimate that Cavalier count before they can upgrade to Paladins, ideally. MBL, I think he needs to switch into a different unit, I think we need to see more... Can he camel? Man. Oh, maybe two Palisade kills? Maybe if he kills the palisade behind the storm wall, he could actually squeeze some villagers through there. Probably he could. The problem is that soon he won't have more gold. He's going inside, they're gonna try to kill more bullets. Liri doesn't have a, like a huge economy now to go to afford a lot of paladins, you know? Yeah. You can see how he has dropped it a lot, but NBL also losing more and more bullets. The rating is constant. He has killed, well, both have killed each other. So many, 68, 61. Kill him more here, he's gonna be fine now. But you don't want to lose the Cavaliers, they are so expensive. But he still have 14 Cavaliers on the field. Now Paladin. And more in the queue indeed, and has to be really happy with his production. That's obviously not a good sign for MBL. He thought, okay, I'm happily ha raiding you, maybe I'm in a good spot, and the opponent can afford Paladins. That's not only a blow, but also a blow when it comes to your mentality. 
the UAE still have right now 30 villages more. And those camel arches are very strong, but those paladins are almost fully abraded and uh, they might kill those, uh, Nelly. Ah, well, he's open. He's trying to squeeze through he's there. Open. Maybe a stone gate. Ooh. Can he squeeze the run? No, Ooh. he couldn't and take the village. You wanted to trap me? You are down. <laughs> okay, camel arch is going back. The paladins keep going. This is another castle? No, no, no. It's, it's, what is he doing it's with those villages? Second try for that one, I believe. Want to finish that castle going when the village is inside? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the stone gate didn't finish, right? I yeah, think yeah. he can get in there now. Okay. Some more houses, maybe some. Goes on to food there. It does pretty well against all those paladins there. But camel number simply not there. Something I really want to see, man. Well, no camels at all. We have 90 villages, 120. This is 30 villages more. He's trying to send those villages there. I don't. That gate is also being built, so won't be able to do it. And Leary is taking that castle down. He's looking better and better. Leary is about to be in the grand final against the Viper because he's just dominating MBL in this series. Yeah, look at what's going Oh! But it's just around. He will finish that castle. Let's <laughs> go, 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 MBL. go, 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 MBL. Let's go. Choo -choo. Okay. Military train. He's going, and he's going to finish that castle. It's going to be very annoying, but it's the last attempt probably because the difference in village is still growing. It was 99%. <laughs> he totes and the castle is up. Crazy. Camel yeah, well, Archer count not really rising too much. No villagers on gold. Only 80 villagers here for MBL. Can't really go into Harbour Deers. Not really having the option as the Berber player. I think Heavy Camel might have been the play here. Can build them cheaper. But still Frank Paladin, more HP. Really? Just so tricky to play. He, the only goal now for, for MBL is literally goal. He was with zero villages on goal. And with that casting, he can take the goal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, he has zero goal in, in the map. If we notice, it's just, oh, look at the money. <laughs> He cannot, he has to go all around, well, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay, it's really okay. 82 bullets, 26 army, and um, yeah, when you don't have the gold in this map, nearly, and those army, those units are very nice, really strong, you really can't do too much. Do we have chemistry on those chem archers? I'm not really sure, I don't really see too much attack from them. Could have obviously been some more damage output. Paladin's going for another raid, I'm not sure. No, I like no this chemistry. One too There's much. no chemistry there. Some more houses here, trying to prevent the raid from getting inside the base, but maybe towards the Ooh. starting to see. And oh man, Paladin's Ooh. over and over. He's raiding constantly, out. he's really raiding constantly. That's why he dropped a lot, his village number. Population is so off right now, 107 population. And Biala has made a great tournament for sure. It was really, really fun also. The series against Kira, epic, nobody will forget. But in this one, with 56 villages on foot, 36 on goal, getting the middle, raiding all over with the Paladins, and 160 population. When your opponent has 96, you know that the GG call is about to happen, and then we'll have a murder hold. An incredible final between the Viper and Lear. We will have murder holds? Who's the host, man? Okay, okay. MBL. Well, Camarts are still trying to make something happen here against the gold, but MBL should know, wow, you're constantly swarming in with Paladins, you're clearing up that forward. There's not a lot of spots on this map where Liri is not winning right now. I think there's even a transition into more buildings. What are we doing here? More Archer and just wants yeah, to go to Skirms. But Frank, yeah. quite surprising to me. Yeah, bad. Yeah, they're not really yeah. too good for sure. But Liri, look at all those raids over yes. and over again. Look at that. MBL dropped below 70 population. Crazy oh. fighting spirit. Maybe that was the reason why he allowed himself to come back yesterday. But yeah. to come back today. Crazy. Won't really happen. crazy. Balance economy. Sit on wood, sit on food, sit on... <laughs> the whole. <laughs> sit on everything because incredible how Liri and you can see they're both. It's taking the game with the... 3-0, taking the castle, he's in the grand final from the Red Bull World of Five. Wow, the kid did it again, and it's there, Mr. Nelly. 3-0, he looked so clean, he looked so sharp. Big smile on his face, obviously good friends with MBL, and that was really clean. I think the Viper has to be scared. Well, well, Viper has played very strong. What we can see is probably an incredible grand final. Mm. The Viper versus Leary, a classic, I would say. Mm. Remember that they have faced in many, many tournaments. Took in the set final in, any, in many, many other tournaments as well. In NAC, Hidden Cap, well, it's a classic. And well, we want to see who is uh, the best player in the world. Yeah, both of them were like top two in the world for like three, four years in a row. So many finals against each other and 
yeah, that's, that's just going to be epic. Best of seven happening later. Best of seven, and now Leo with the smile is, in the interviews, Tavern. All right, Larry, both of my finals today, 3 and 0. How were you able to anticipate any, any surprises that NBL would have been able to pull on you? Uh, to be honest, I didn't see any surprises coming. Uh, they all caught me off guard. Uh, every game was like pretty messy, which isn't really my play style, which I don't really like to play. I think we played his game today, but uh, I think I just played it mechanically a bit better. A few decisions here and there uh, for him, which went in the wrong direction, and that's how it ended up. Absolutely, and taking that and going into the finals, are you nervous to face Viper in the finals? No, I, I, I don't get nervous anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Wow, the, he just exudes confidence. Okay, well, I'm excited to see you play later. Back to you guys, Riley. Let's go. Come on. Go back to work. Thank you. Please. This Thank you. way. Thank you. Sheesh, uh, man. I you look away from your eco for one second and idols, just everywhere. Dude. I don't know. Idols. Like the AI is just whatever. All right. An incredible match. We just saw Leary do what he does best. In the words of a very, very wise philosopher, Tristan, total domination. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was extreme. Um, and you know, Leary even acknowledged that NBL kind of took him out of his comfort zone a little mm -hmm, bit, mm -hmm. but it still was not going to be enough. And I don't think anyone of us is surprised to see that it will be Leary moving on to the final. No, look, this is the, this is the, uh, you know, what we anticipated. NBL obviously full of surprises yesterday, beating Hera here. But Dave, uh, quite clearly outmatched by Leary, just the, 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 the precision, the speed that he has. It's not a surprise to us, and you know, is there anything that we, we can perhaps learn from this as we head into our final? Is there, was there anything new that Leary showed us, or any new data points for us here, or was it just same old, same old? Uh, it was pretty much same old, same old. Mm. I think on the enclosed game, he went for a forward, which we don't see from him too often. Sure. We're usually watching him play around with military and then upgrading that military because he keeps it alive for so long. Mm -hmm. um, but I think he did that more because MBL went for the second TC. So more or less the same from Leary. Yeah. Early aggression keeps up the aggression. You have to have military at home for defense, and that's how he stays safe at his own base. Yeah, just in 10 places at once. This yeah. bloke's an absolute, the kid's a legend. He's so, so good at the game. I want to, of course, say congratulations to MBL for making it so far. Semi-final berth for him, a huge result. The upset against Terra, of course, absolutely massive. He's played his guts out and he's had a terrific Wallet 05, but ultimately not having the chops to take down one of the best, if not the best player of Empire Wars in Leary, which sets the stage for an incredible final. And uh, if the Viper and if Leary give us even a taste of what we've seen so far, this final match is going to be massive. Let's let's have a quick chat about some of the stuff we saw with Leary and MBL. Um, in, I, I think there was, particularly in game number one, or game number two, excuse me, um, the, the, the initiative really was all Leary's, Tristan. He, he pushed forward, took uh, MBL off the gold, dropped a castle, and from there just didn't seem to have any clear weaknesses. What is the Viper thinking in terms of attacking Leary when it comes to stuff like this? What can he do? What's tricky is I think Viper has the potential to match Leary in mm -hmm. terms of the, the technical meta. Um, however, I think that he, he can't match it all the time. So with, with MBL, it was MBL usually is not setting out to match it at all. Uh, Viper Leary matchups historically is just who kind of breaks with that type of a play style. So I think that what Viper needs is he's going to need some really good drafting. I think he's going to need good strategy. Mm -hmm. and, and it's it's going to kind of take Leary a different direction than, than just like crossbows the entire game into him. Um, I don't know, a mix of both is what Viper needs, I guess, is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I say. mean, are we in a situation here, Dave, where Viper is the underdog? I mean, that's not, it's, it's, it sounds kind of crazy to say something like that, that at this point, but Leary is just untouchable, undefeated this weekend, two titles already on the, on the mantelpiece. Is this where we're at? Is, is, is Viper on the back foot? Yes.
All right, simple as that. That's yep. why I guess that's yeah. why I guess, that's <laughs> why I guess the be. big bucks. That's the type of hard hitting analysis yeah. you get. He here. has to be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he has to be. You look at Leary's won two out of the four, mm -hmm. and then he also made it to three finals. Yeah. So I mean, he has to be, but uh, not like a heavy underdog. You know, the the word underdog almost needs it's almost too strong because I think Viper's played really well.